Hello and welcome to this video on ChatGPT and its potential to revolutionize education. For those who may not be familiar, ChatGPT is a cutting-edge artificial intelligence technology developed by OpenAI. It allows users to have natural conversational interactions with a machine, as if they were talking to a real person. Now, let's delve into some specific ways that ChatGPT could potentially change education. First, ChatGPT could be used for personalized tutoring. Imagine being able to have one-on-one -on -one sessions with a virtual tutor that can answer any questions you have, provide customized explanations and guidance, and even adapt to your learning style. This could be especially helpful for students who may not have access to traditional in-person tutoring or who need extra support in certain subjects. Second, ChatGPT could be used for language learning. It could serve as a virtual language exchange partner, allowing students to practice their skills and improve their fluency in a new language. This could be especially beneficial for students who may not have the opportunity to study abroad or interact with native speakers in person. Third, ChatGPT could be used to generate personalized lesson plans and assignments. Instead of following a one-size-fits-all curriculum, ChatGPT could create customized lesson plans based on a student's individual needs and goals. This could allow for more tailored and effective learning experiences. Fourth, ChatGPT could be used to provide feedback on assignments and projects. Imagine being able to get real-time feedback on your work rather than having to wait for a teacher or tutor to grade it. This could help students improve their skills and understand more quickly. Finally, ChatGPT could even be used to help grade exams and assessments. While it would still be important for a human teacher or grader to review and validate the results, ChatGPT could save time and effort by quickly and accurately grading multiple choice or short answer questions. Overall, ChatGPT has the potential to revolutionize education by providing personalized, on-demand support for students of all levels. It has the potential to make learning more accessible, efficient, and effective for everyone. Thank you for watching this video on ChatGPT and its potential to change education. We hope you found it informative and exciting. So I went a little bit quickly through that last part there because every word up until this point in the video was created and written by ChatGPT AI. I used the AI to write the entire first part of this video. And not only can I use it to write a YouTube script, but your students can use it to write an essay or an answer to a question. And that's going to be the real impact of ChatGPT on education. You know, I found that the whole first part of the video was very biased. It was quite positive. All the wonderful things that could be done through artificial intelligence to help students. And I think those are all valid points. I think that what was created in the first half of this video by the AI was well structured. There were five different things that it could do for education. I think that it was fairly high level. It didn't go into a lot of depth. And I do feel that it also missed a lot of opportunities to personalize the content. But personally, I found it quite good, at least as a starting point. And in some cases, if you just needed a quick answer to a question, that would be a sufficient response to that. Now, this is going to really change education. And here's where I, not the AI, think that artificial intelligence will have an effect on education. Because just like a calculator or a computer or a search engine, what's happening is we have the ability to find answers and to reach a result without going through the process of reaching that result. And that comes with positives and negatives. In a positive sense, we're able to use a calculator to do mathematics, get a result that we can then apply to another problem. But if we start using the calculator as an excuse to just do the math through the calculator without understanding the application of the math, that's where we kind of separate ourselves from learning. What we're doing at that point is we're getting answers, but we're not going through the process of learning why those answers make sense, and we're not going through the process of saying how can I expand that answer and how can I use the learning process to learn other things. Now obviously as an educator I'm going to be quite biased. I think that the learning journey is equally if not more important than just reaching the answer. But this also does mean that as instructors, as teachers, we're going to have to be aware that students have this tool available to them. And what are we going to do? 
As an example, my son had a computer science project that he had to do on creating a Java program to create a Sudoku puzzle solver. And he struggled with it. He had to think about how will I solve this problem? What tools can I use within the, within the coding language? And he was working and working and working on that. Well, I went into ChatGPT and I was able to have it create the program for me in less than two minutes. He could have done the same if his dad was nice and told him about it. I did eventually tell him about it so he could check his work, but now he knows. So if he gets another assignment where he has to write a Java program, he can simply use that tool as well to generate the program without having to go through the struggle or the process of learning a lot of the coding techniques, which he actually does need to learn. So now, as an instructor, as a parent, or whoever's dealing with any type of education, we have to say, maybe it's time for us to change the way that we ask the question so that we're getting more out of the learning process that involves the human. What I mean by this is, instead of saying, give me the answer to this mathematical problem, maybe what we need to do now is what we should have been doing all along and saying, how do I apply this answer to a, to a problem that I have that requires me to know this answer? So I think what we're going to see when it comes to the world of AI is that the genie's out of the bottle. We're going to definitely have, we're going to have calculators, we're going to have search engines, we're going to have AI. And the question is how to embrace it and use it for the most positive impact without losing the learning process that is what we're really trying to instill in our students and ourselves. So I hope you found this video interesting. I'm going to be looking at how artificial intelligence affects education, how we can use it in a positive way for positive outcomes, what are some of the dangers and pitfalls that we might experience with it, but in this video here, the whole first portion was written by an AI. Comment down below on what you thought. Maybe go back and review that first portion. See what sorts of things were there that you say, wait a minute, that might be a tell that an AI has been used in order to write that. I promise you the whole second portion, which is probably less structured, is not using an AI. Eh, maybe, maybe I should use the AI for more YouTube scripts. But the point being is that it's a starting point. It's not the answer. It's not the finishing point. We need to think about how we're going to incorporate AI in a positive way in our learning. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, do all those YouTube things, and we'll see you in the next video.